Ik denk dat dit is um, die fikste mensen wat ik nog hier gehad het in die geschiedenis van die show. Goedemorgen. Good morning. Morgen. Ze gaan er net van een voorstel. Ryan Sands. Maar ik, maar but you spell it Sandes. Yes. You yeah. Mexican. No joking. Half Mexican, so, half Afrikaans. Half Afrikaans. <laughs> en dan ons hier vir AJ Carlitz. Morgen, hallo. Morgen. En dan vir Landy, nou eens van Visser. <laughs> Greiling nou. Greiling nou. Morgen. Landy Visser. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're crazy and I like you a lot. So, uh, mense bevaar jy met die antwoord. Jylle is so ver van die antwoord af as wat kan kom. Jylle is drie van die fikste trail runners en endurance runners in die land. So, Ryan, let's start with you. Just for yes. background people, it's not into fitness. We're talking the bit overweight people now in the office is listening to the show. Uh, you, I mean, you, an international known athlete, been doing the four desert races, um, and that's six, seven day events, 250 kilometers. That's yes. extreme and self-supported. That means there's no team like the dark car, like Janilis Assisi, he's got a car <laughs> with a backup team. So how does it work, this like endurance extreme running, trail running? Yeah, there are a lot of different forms of, of endurance trail running. I started off with the multi-day desert races, like you mentioned, where you're running for seven days, like separate stages, like a Tour de France, except you got to carry everything you need for the seven days. So mm. that's everything, food, kind of emergency gear, et cetera, except uh, the race organizers are kind. They do give you a bit of water every day. So at least you don't have to carry water. And then these days now I'm kind of more doing the 100 mile races. That's so about 160 Ks. And that's in, in one go. In and one go, one 160 go. kilometers in yes. one go with so, gear. Yeah, no, but those aren't self-supported, so yes. I'm a bit of a sissy. Like I've okay. got, um, like Bruce Ford us. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean it's, it's easy. You you look you make the the comrades look look easy. No, just running 80 k's on the road is, is hard work. That's why I haven't. Yeah, but he's only yet. carrying poly shorts. Or what do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. No, I'm joking. Yeah. So, so but, I, but anyway, just to do 160 kilometers. Yeah, but it's also like. Um, in that 100 uh, miles, 160 kilometers, you sometimes climbing up to, like to 10,000 meters of mm. continuous elevation gain, which is like up and down Table Mountain about 12 times or so, maybe a little bit more. So that really is, is, is the big challenge. And often you're running on really rugged terrain. Mm. Um, there are times when it takes you kind of two hours to, to do eight kilometers, which seems really slow. But if you're going straight up the face of a mountain or, or down some really technical terrain, that makes it uh, really difficult. Mm. How long have you been running? Uh, about seven or, or professionally for about seven years. And mm. I think I started about two years before that. So for about nine years. So, so if I start now with a bit with a bit of a vein dummy, my wine dummy. Got a bright future. So I can still do it. I'm 40 yeah. now. Can I do 160 yeah. kilometer in two years? Yeah, if I start sure. practicing now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to start now. <laughs> <laughs> no, sure. I okay. think it becomes like a lifestyle as well. Like for yes. me, I don't see it as as a chore to go and run up a mountain. It's, yes. it's what I love doing and it's what I enjoy and what I'm passionate about. So, But you're privileged um, enough to do it full time yes, with your yeah. sponsors and everything. I mean, you, you can do it. That's yes, your, yeah, that's your no, job really, is running. Really lucky to be able to do that, yes. That's amazing. We're going to come back to the sky run now. In a, done. Ned, AJ, you're yeah, a Guinness, Guinness record book. Hour. Is it what record? Is it, is it, is it too good? Yes, yeah, young. What did you uh, do to get this right? Ja, yes, uh, ek is sikkie eerste Roykop en tweede uh, wereldrekord daar. Uh, ja, ons het uh, Tafelberg, so paar keer wat Ryan nou vertel ek het, het ons Tafelberg 15 keer op en af gegaan in 12 ure. So, uh, ons hou tans uh, die rekord vir die mees vertikale klim in 12 ure. Ek sê ons, want daar was so 25 na 30 mens wat achter die skerms ook gewerk het, en mm. ek denk is onrechtvaardig om Klein te vat daarvan. Ek denk, denk, dit is een titel wat behoort aan meer mens as ek. So dit is op Tafelberg, dit is kilometer nie so ver nie. Hoe ver is dit op? Op Tafelberg is dit 2.2. So 2.2, maar jy klim hoeveel in termen van meter? Ek klim 700 meter vertikal elke keer. So dit is so'n graad van so'n 35%. En hoeveel keer? 15 keer. 15 keer? Ja. Dit is skrikkelijk. Is daar iets fout gegaan met jou as kind, of love you running? (laughs) Jong, eh, Ek het eindelijk maar begin as, ek is maar een beetje van een pokkelkie gewees. En as okay. jy pokkelkie in een rooikop is, dan sê jy lewe maar teen nou. <laughs> Soos jy luister as jy maar sal weet. En uh, toe het ek so begin met drie kamp en, en uh, het bykie gehaarkloop en so. En toe het ek gaan swat. En uh, weet, as my swat, dan soms die sociale lewe is, is ook belangrijk. Mm. En uh, toe het ek begin werk en uh, ek is nie vreselijk lief gewees vir die 8 tot 5 hee. Yes. En toe het ek so begin haarkloop en toe bykie in die traar aan die ingekom. En ek denk raar in die pad vir ons redelijk geteer vir die 
vir die, die trailrenners, en uh, ja, nou is ek gevoorrecht om, om het soort van, kom ons sê semi test te doen, ek is nog steeds een procureur wat praktiseer, hmm. maar het beteken op een dinsdag ochtend 10 uur, kan jy op die berg wees, of op een maandag ochtend half 12, kan jy in die studio sit met jou gesels. Hmm. So, daar is slechte dinge in die lewe, as om op een berg rond te herkloop, uh, vir die lewe, dit is rarig uh, voorrecht om wat ek kan doen. Dit is ongelooflik. En dan die dame, um, Landi, Kan jy nie sommer opstand, ek het weer nie jou kei te kan kyk. <laughs> Later. Hoe dit, hoe dit, hart loop jy vir hoe lang al? Um, en jy is een see al. So ek wil weet hoe ek die tijd ook vir oefen. Wel, op die oomlik, um, hart loop ek so wiekie meer as wat ek werk. So, okay. dit is nogal so lekker story. Maar ja, eindelijk hoe ek begin hart loop, het is een redelike interessante story. In groot 1, um, het my moe vir my gesê, nee, ek moet nou aan die atletiek gaan deelneem. En toe sê ek van nee, 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 ek wil nie hart loop, ek hou nie van hart loop nie. En sê, soos nie, man, gaan hart loop. Sê, ek vroeg my, hoekom wil ek nie gaan nie? Ek sê, soos nie, ek is bang ek verloot. En toe gaan hart loop ek, en toe wen ek die 100 meter, en toe is ek baie blij, toe even skielik, toe hou ek van hart loop, en ek het toe net kort afstande gedoen, en later hmm. bykie landloop op school gedoen, en um, eindelijk toe nogal slag gerok op oorskool, nie meer gehaard loop nie, wiekie oorsee gegaan, eerste jaar sy droom, daar het die bering gehad, en toe so van, sê maar, 28 af het ek weer begin haard loop, en het achtergekom, ek geniet het, en die berge gevind, en um, begin met, met die trouw aan die ding, so ja, dis, dis maar so op my, my was jy, achtergrond. Was jy op school ook soos IJ Pokkelkie? Of was jy nou dit helemaal geskiep <laughs> nee, in jou leven? Nee, nee, ek, ek het so, ek het so stadium in my leven gehad, wat ek uh, bykie die, die padbuister geraak het, <laughs> maar gelukkig het ek om weer gevind. So. En een ernstige vraag meer, in termen van kracht, um, want mense gaan nou, as jy nou denk, Ryan Hartlip 160 kilometer of dier, jylle desert, wat jy, wat jy eie staf saamdra, uh, f- de vrouwense kracht, maak het een, gewel- het een geweldige invloed, of jy help het, ek weet partij keer baie keer, uh, ligt daar ouwens, haal op een sekere plek in, want kree die berg bokke, ons het sterker is, wat die berg achterde dele vinniger kan doen, uh, dit is my net een bijnaam wat ek gehoor het vir jou, wat die berg so kan klim, um, oef, oef, hoe is dit met, hoe is dit met vrouwens, weet, om, kijk, weet jy is fijn en klein gebouw, help dit, of kom jy even skielik en besef jy, ek heb my akkoord meer spiermassa, ek moet meer kracht hee, Ek dink het gaan baie oor jou power to white ratio, obviously. So, mm-hmm. um, mens moet definitief um, kracht hee. So, ek, ek sal, jy weet, redelijk gymwerk en so aan doen, net om, om bykie sterk te word, om in die berge te kan hardklop. Maar ek dink het al baie, as jy lig is, om vlugvoetig oor die klip en, en ook met die berge te gaan. Mm. So, uh, vir my dink ek is, dis, daar, daar is een balans wat jy moet vind, maar elke persoon het moes maar sy eie, jy weet, beenstructuur en daar mm. het van gitter. So, jy werk maar rondom dit, maar dit help om, om sterk te wees, vooral vir die type hardklop wat, wat ons op die oomlik doen, um, berge op en af, moet jy, moet jy sterk wees, vooral jou, jou um, koor, maagspier en so aan, moet, moet baie sterk wees, so dit help dat jy daar terrein kan, mm. in baas rook. Ok, lichtsvoet landie, nie weer baie naam. <laughs> so, now let's get to the sky run. Uh, Ryan, yes. it's, it's, when is it? And it's, I mean, it's in our region. It's an amazing race to do. Tell us just more about it. That's why you guys are here. Yes. We did it the weekend now. Yes, um, on, on the weekend, we did a, a training camp. So we ran along the, the route um, of the, the Sky Run. Basically, the Sky Run starts in, in Lady Grey and you traverse the mountains all the way towards Baloch and you, you finish off at the War Trail Country Club. So it's it's 100 Ks, but it's um, unmarked. Um, it's a lot of um, elevation gain. You're running in the Drakensberg, which um, I've run all over the world, and I think it's some of the, the hardest terrain I've ever run in. It's just mm. super rugged and, and wild. And, and when you're out there, if something goes wrong, there, there's no one to, to help you. Um, there are four or five checkpoints along the way, so there is um, obviously got safety in, in, in place. But um, at the same time, there's a big gap between the, the different checkpoints, and the weather can close in in a matter of, of minutes, and you can get snowed hail and lightning rains Mm. and it can get really cold up there so yeah i think it's probably with regards to endurance events one of the the toughest endurance events in in south africa Mm. and i think as a trail runner everyone aims towards the sky run that's kind of the the ultimate race how can people enter for the sky run is is there still opportunity yes entries are still open so if you go to the the, the sky run website i think it's www.skyrun.coza you can enter on there. Otherwise, um, yeah, if you follow Pure Adventures on uh, Twitter, mm. you can yeah get get in touch with them via that. So, and it's yeah. precise. That what's the date of the event is next? Yes, it's the twenty yeah. second. Yeah, yeah. 20, 20, 20 second of November. Of November. Of November. So yes. there's still time to you know, still time to enter, and there's still yeah. still time to train as well. So yeah, I think yeah, if, um, I've uh, done the done the race once two years ago, and it's definitely like a life changing experience. I think. Mm. Um, 
obviously you want to try and finish it as quick as possible but it's just such an epic journey kind of getting from point a to b and, and trying to um yeah, just kind of cruising along those mm. the, those mountains. Um, not many people have can say that um, you've run the sky run, so it's a really epic race, and I'd really recommend it to to all those um, endurance athletes out there. But at the same time, I think um, yeah, it's trail running's growing so quickly at mm. at the moment. Uh, it would be great to see more and more people taking up the sport and eventually aiming for the sky run in a couple of years' time. Great stuff. I'll do it with you guys in a chopper. <laughs> So, the last question, or answer in the question, is what every runner of Bayern will know, what's the tag is Hartlepi in Landi? Um, Salomon. I can't remember Newton. Newton? Also Salomon. So. Okay. Ek, so, you can make any middle set. I get no stars. Bye, thank you. It was great. We will see you. You're an inspiration for all of them. And I think we'll see you again further on Sky Run. And I hope we'll see you from uh, Bloom. You're also a small man. What yeah. Hartlep? I don't think you're a small man. Elke keer as ek sê, dan lyk jy hoe vend het. As hulle nie die, die 100 km wil doen, jy is al onder die Sky Run Light optie, wat uh, 60 km is. Ok. So, as jy so, uh, bykie van een entry level type, net, net starig wil opbou, dan kan jy altijd die Sky Run Light ook gaan. En dis kruid, want is maar net 40 km minne. So, as hoop vir jou. <laughs> as hoop vir my, ek gaan die Sky Run Light kom doen, met een light bierkie na die tyd. Ons, ons skryf <laughs> het weer nee, jong, nee. Ja, nee. ek maak nie maar, bro, nie, wacht, ek sê, kom jy, is daar dam maar boe, wat kan swem. <laughs> Het was nee, so baie hard so. <laughs> en ek was amazing met die Thank you very ek much. Ek nou af, hartelijk met die, met die bye, trappe. <laughs> so as jy meer wil uitvind, gaan na die Skyrun, dat sê dat ek so precies die details vir jou kry, waar jy nog kan inskryf, en ek dink ons moet het ondersteun, want dit is iets uh, wat jy kan sê, dit is nie net op een treadmill nie.